Hi everyone, my name is Loretta Friedrich. I am the creative director of the Your Food Story Project and author of Your Canadian Food Story. I am so delighted to once again welcome another contributor, one of 113 that is in this book, and she is from Ontario. Welcome, Cheryl. Thanks, Loretta. It's great to be here and such an achievement that you've done. Congrats. Well, and I throw it back to you. I, I, I receive your, your um, wonderful, uh, you know, I'll, I'll receive your words and then I say thank you as well because without this book, Cheryl, it wouldn't have been possible. I mean, without your story and, and all the other people's stories, it wouldn't have been possible. So it's so much fun to have all these people that have come from every region, every part of Canada, that collectively uh, have a story that's based on a specific recipe. So Cheryl, why don't you tell us what drew you to this, this project? What, what was so interesting that you thought, okay, I'm going to be part of it? Well, like most things happen for me, they just fall in my lap. Uh, I'm going to say contributing information and having fun doing so for the greater good uh, or for the greater fun is, is, is something that I've worked with many times. So I just think that it was just meant to be. And uh, I mean, it unfolded so many months ago. You've been working, you've been working at this for a long time. So I would just say, that uh, when we think about recipes, it was easy for me to fall into this project because I did have a couple on on the top of you know the top of my head that I've worked with for many 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 years to uh, to delight uh, people's palates. Uh, yes, and I know I know more about you than probably a few of the viewers, and so. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, well, firstly, I, I did say you're from Ontario, but tell us what community are you uh, from within Ontario and, and uh, why would we might want to go and visit your area? Well, Canada is full of surprises and full of lots of things to do. Ontario, beautiful. There's lots of countryside, which I visit quite often, but where I find myself at this time of my life and for a number of years is actually right in the heart of Toronto, but very well situated near Casa Loma and the ravines with nature. And there's just so much to do in Toronto with uh, you know, with people, anyone coming to Toronto, that that's what you would take advantage of, whether it's the, uh, the culture, very, you know, so diverse in its culture. So we have, you know, Greek town, Italian town, we have, you know, Finnish stores, we have you know, arts for those who love arts and those who love, um, you know, the music within that. Uh, just so much to do, you know, hiking groups. We have Toronto Island, which is a great place. And even just outside of Toronto within an hour, an hour and a half, there's much to do. So they can have a blend of both rural and urban at the same time. Love it. And I, I, I'm taken to some of those places because physically I've been there. I actually, I don't know if you know this, but I was born in Toronto, but I only lived there for barely the first year of, of my life. So, but did go back to visit because that's where my mom grew up. And when you're talking about some of these areas and certainly you could call that um, area rich with um, so many different foods and, and different cultures and, and just the beauty. And, and so when you're, when you're thinking about the food, so we'll get to this food thing now, and you've got some experience with food, both personally and professionally. When you were looking at the recipe that you, you chose, what other stories or, or recipes might have come to mind and maybe with your profession in mind or um, anything else you can share? So were there any other triggers? Was it kind of hard to just pick this one, one story or, or what? Well, 
uh, for me, I guess some of the things that I've been also attracted to, to making is uh, things that take a bit of time. And this is where the beans fell in, but that also fell into my, to my lap just partially because it was a Canadian recipe. It was somebody, you know, Pierre Burton that everybody was familiar with. It was during uh, an English educational course and it was a short story, but there was absolutely no measurements. So I was intrigued by that one. But other store, other things that come to mind is uh, shortbreads. My mother made shortbreads uh, a lot, you know, every year and sometimes we'd help. So I really liked them and I just chose to do that on my, and when I moved out to continue to do those because there was such a simple recipe and not complicated but you could also do variations and I was also able because of my profession being a nutrition bring in healthier you know healthier flowers healthier grains make my own flour and make them so that's one recipe that I do every year and then a number of salad recipes so I'm I'm really known for my beet salad trying to use as much wholesome you know vegetables uh, those kind of things. Uh, so Greek salad, Caesar salad, beet salad. So that's probably what I would have navigated to next was one of those. Cause if you're inviting me to a party, most likely I'm going to bring a can, a jar of beans, a bag of shortbreads, or offer to bring a salad, you know, depending on the type of year, one time of year. There, there you go. Exactly. It, depending on type, the, the time of year. And what, what's so interesting is that, and I, and I should show everybody that indeed Cheryl is in the book and here is the recipe for her story um, that depending on the time of year when even when I was curating these um, stories and, and recipes throughout a number of months it was very interesting how I landed up just because of, of the process and the different seasons that people would have been thinking about that mm -hmm. within the, the regional representation, there's quite a, a seasonal representation as well. So that's what's kind of fun too. And when you're talking about some of these other uh, foods that were right, you know, snug up against the uh, choice that you made for the um, baked beans, it, it's just amazing. We could just keep going on and on forever. And you touched in on nutrition and that's, that's your profession. So, yeah. Why not share what what do you love about what you do and what's the name of your business or is there anything you can tell us about what you do? Yeah, I'll just kind of try to sum it up here because I've uh, enjoyed a variety of things just to, whether it's the variety of things, whether it's just the, the way I've been able to offer uh, stuff to the community, help the community. But I run a walk club, it'll be 10 years this year. And in my main core business, I'll do counseling uh, because I've got the metaphysical or the spiritual, spiritual counseling and the consulting, which is on health. And maybe it's a combination of the both. And one focus that allowed me to practice uh, presenting and so forth was actually um, the seal oil. So something else very, very Canadian that, again, I guess dropped in my lap probably 10 years ago as well. And that was, uh, you know, that's been a very huge journey because I've learned even about politics or propaganda or, you know, the Inuit people, the uh, certain things about there uh, that, that was going last year in the news around uh, natives as well. So I've learned so much about it. And it, it is a focus about, uh, yes, the omegas, but also just bringing in my food processing, 20 years of food processing and talking to that. So I really do love to present and have done so at many companies, um, not so much lately because I am writing a book and uh, that's uh, occupying some of my time, but that's that's a lot of fun and it'll be a year this summer. I think I'm just gonna wrap it up with what I have. Beautiful. So you are, you know, I hear this 10 years, this congratulations. I know that this is um, something you've been, um, uh, your, your knowledge base goes far back 
beyond the 10 years, but congratulations for this, this decade that, that you're, you've been talking about. And, and so how do people um, get a hold of you? Any, any uh, social channels or anything like that? Yeah, um, I'm starting to do uh, a live video on Mondays, which they call it Live at 5, and I actually live at number 5, the street address, but it's at 5 p.m. on Mondays on Facebook, and so far I'm just doing on my main page, uh, I think it's Cheryl Millett 2010 or something like that, but uh, then putting on For You Better Health, my page as well. That's that's one way, or go to CherylMillett.com, that's where... A number of people you want to learn. I've written a number of my ideas and what I found in research and what I present on within within the blocks and some recipes probably maybe once a month but but there's a lot of information there even on the seal oil as well uh, so they can dive into that research and what what the differences are. Thank you so much Cheryl for just giving us a glimpse into what you do and, and who you are. And the purpose of these videos is to have everyone who is going through the, the, the videos is to learn, sure, about the contributors or other people who have some food stories or um, recipes to share. Mm -hmm. But that we are all to, in this together. We, we all eat every day. <laughs> So yeah we, do. We might as well, yeah, we might as well be sharing our, our knowledge and this is one way and that's, and that's been my vision, especially in the last number of years. And I just love that you shared. Um, I mean, I'm so with you in so many of the things that you've mentioned. So thank you again, Cheryl, for, for sharing with us today. You're very, very welcome. I should probably mention this because this might tie into people um, going through it. Oh, just last summer, I started with a chef called, it's just in Toronto, unfortunately, but called the Roehampton Food for the Soul Society. And it's a monthly dinner and it's a lot of fun. So we do a demo and I do a segment on it called, and now for something completely different. So it is bringing that education, but in a very social uh, environment where people get a full, you know, full course dinner, three course meal, and it's great. So. Mm. I will have to make a note of that because I am definitely going to go to Toronto and in, in, in sooner than later. So I'll have okay. to keep that in mind. And, and everyone who is able, you heard what Cheryl mentioned that if this is within reach, within driving distance, that would be just so cool to see a whole bunch of people get um, connected because of just, you know, the beginning of, of maybe something like, you know, this, this book, but everyone who is in the book and they reach out and, and, and so on, this beautiful picture of us uh, communing together and, and nourishing um, ourselves and, and each other as well. So this book is available on amazon.com com and dot ca and it's also uh, will be available in various uh, stores uh, especially in the Edmonton area but come back to this website it will be updated constantly where you will be learning more about more of the contributors and other information and also where you can you can buy copies and if you want to be part of IC and, and the next project. Mm -hmm. So I say bye for now and uh, thank you again, Cheryl, for being with us today. Thanks, Loretta. And everyone have a wonderful day. And what's your food story? Bye for now.